Good morning, students. So we all are doing the remaining work of English grammar, and in today's class, under the remaining work of English grammar, we shall do extra work in which we will do email. So in today's class, I will teach you how we can compose an email. So for composing an email, we need a topic. Let's see what is the heading. That is, write an email to your younger sister for advising her how to use internet. So during the online studies, you all know that the use of internet is in excess, which can be dangerous also and beneficial also. So here you have to compose an email to your younger sister for advising her, her that how to use internet. So let's see. First of all, whenever you have to compose an email, this kind of window will be opened. This kind of box will be there in which you have to compose the email and in the box there will be different kind of boxes like which are given here which will indicate the different use. First one box will indicate something with three dots. Second box will be there including the tools. Here different tools are there. This tool is used to attach the images and a uh, Many tools are there for different kind of actions. After that next box will be there. Here the person who is composing the email has to write his or her email. Here I have written khushiraman93 at the rate gmail.com. So whenever you will compose your email you have to mention your own email account here. Next to, to whom we are composing the email. So here I have written Rashmi Singh 93 at the rate gmail.com. Then another box will be there for subject. So what is the subject for advising how to use internet? So under this box only we have to compose the email. First of all we will greet the person. Here it is written hello Rashmi because we are writing the email. We are composing the email for Rashmi here. I have become aware that you have been using internet more lately including many social networking sites. The person who is composing the email is saying that he has become aware she or he has become aware that his or her sister has been using internet more lately including many social networking sites also. I know that everything on internet is a fun but it also can be a very dangerous place. So. Indeed, internet is a fun but it also can be very dangerous place for anyone and especially for the kids. So you need to take following precautions for your safety while using internet. So whenever we are using internet, we need to take some precautions which are given here. First one is take permission from your parents before using internet. If you are a kid below 18, you need to take permission from your parents before using the internet. Next one is never meet people in your real life whom you don't know because they may not be as they claim. So whenever you are meeting people on uh, many uh, different social networking sites, you do not have to meet them in your real life because whatever they are saying about them, it may not be true. Third one is never share your credit cards number or details to anyone, especially on internet. So you should never share your credit card number and details with anyone in your life and especially on internet. Next one is ask your parents before filling any form on internet. So whenever you will use internet you can see many kind of forms uh, that will be opened for you but you should not have to fill any form before asking your parents. Next one is don't open any email from unknown sources and always keep your password a secret. So never open an email from any unknown source and you should always keep your password a secret. Don't share your personal details to anyone and make sure if you post your photos on internet it should be privately. So whenever you are using internet you should not share your personal details to anyone on internet and Always make sure that if you are posting your photos on internet, it should be privately. There will be an option. So you should always choose that option that you should post your photos privately. So selected people can see your photos. And in the last year, lovingly Khushi Raman, here you have to write your name because you are composing 
an email and that's how you can compose an email i hope everything is clear to all of you thank you everyone